Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to make a poll on Discord with the Carl bot. Um, so I'm going to show you two different types of polls that you can make. And if you do find this video helpful today, please drop a like and leave a comment below. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you're not already is add the call bot to your server. Um, so what you want to do first is open up Discord and you can do this on the web based application or if you have the app downloaded, you can do it that way. Steps are exactly the same. It's all down to personal preference. Um, in today's example, I'll be using the web based version. So once you're logged in, what you're then going to want to do is open up a new tab and you want to type Carl, which is C-A-R-L dot G-G. And this is going to take you across to the Carl bot. Um, so once you get to here, what you want to do is just click onto this login with Discord button down here. And what that's going to do is take you across to the permission screen uh, just to allow access to your account. Um, so what you want to do is come down to the blue button here, which says authorize and go ahead and give that a click. And then just go ahead and choose the server to add the bot to. Um, so I'm just going to use my example server here, like so, and then click continue. And then just scroll down and click the blue authorize button. And then complete the human verification. And you'll see that's um, all been added. Uh, so what we're going to do is click this blue get started button down here. And then just come back to Discord. And if I go into that server now, you'll see that uh, Callbot's been added. Um, so to actually do the polls, it's actually very simple to do. And as I say, there's two different types of polls that you can do. So the first thing you can do is if you do an exclamation mark and then put poll. And this is more for a yes, no kind of poll. Uh, so not one with options, but one where you're kind of asking a question which has got a yes or no answer. So you could put something like, am um, I subscribed? Question mark. Like so. So uh, the exclamation mark and a poll, and then put a space and then ask your question, hit enter. And as simple as that, what it's going to do is reformat it to ask the question, am I subscribed? And obviously you would just put a thumbs up, which means yes, or a thumbs down, which means no, uh, depending on the reaction you choose to do. Uh, the other one you can do, and this is more so if you want to um, provide options rather than a yes, no question, is you would just put an exclamation mark and then quick poll. Uh, then what you need to do is ask the question. So what's your uh, favorite food? Like so. And then once you've done your question, what you want to do is put a space. Um, and what you need to do is put all the different options. And each option you want to separate with the uh, pipe symbol. So if I put like pizza, and then you put a space and then you want to put this symbol here. It's like a pipe. Um, so it depends on your keyboard layout, but for the English layout, if you hold shift and then you press the backslash key, uh, it's normally there. And if you hold down shift, it changes it to this upward pipe thing. And then you would put your next option. So something like a uh, curry and then another pipe. And obviously you can go on and do as many options as you want to. Uh, then we go for something like, I don't know, um, chow mein, uh, popcorn, why not? And then once we've got our options, go ahead and hit enter. And what that's going to do is reformat it into a poll. So actually it's come up like this, sorry, because, uh, what I was meant to do is put a pipe after the question mark. So let's try that again. So um, you would do exclamation mark, quick poll, space, ask your question. 
what's your favorite food and then after the question you would put the pipe in first then a space and then your first option uh, second option so after you, each option make sure you put these pipes uh, make sure you don't do what I did make sure after the question you put the pipe before putting your options in so let's just formats it to appear correctly okay so now if I hit enter that should now display it correctly so yeah you can see if I get rid of this uh, this old one um, but yeah, there you go. So you've got the what's your favorite food, one, two, three, four, there's your different options. And obviously the one you want to vote for, you would just select the appropriate number. So if I wanted to go for chow mein, I would just click the react down here, number three. Uh, if I wanted to go for pizza, again, same process, but for number one. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so that's how you do it and I hope you did find that helpful. If that did help you out today then please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.